611 now and tomorrow kicks off the start of Catholic Schools Week across the country. Catholic schools celebrate with masses, open houses, and other activities for students, families, and community members. 27 First News reporter Brooke Meadahan is live at Ursuline High School, where this year local Catholic schools are joining forces in a unique way. Brooke. Good morning, Connor. Yes, Catholic Schools Week starts tomorrow, but local schools across the area are kicking things off a little bit earlier today. Now I'm at Ursuline High School where they're doing things a little bit differently this year. They're teaming up with the local Catholic schools across the valley. Now I'm with Carolyn Karenik here who's going to tell us a little bit more about it. So tell me what's going on here today. What do you guys have set up? Well, Brooke, thanks for being here. We're so happy WKBN chose to come and cover our event. Today is what we are calling Kids in the Community or Catholics in the Community. And this idea really started back in May. Mary Gabani Wagner, who is an Ursuline graduate and a member of John F. Kennedy's board, she's also a member of the Junior League with me. We were at a meeting and we were talking about what could we do to get our schools to work together on a project. We thought that would be a great idea in the spirit of collaboration. So the very next day, Mary called me and said, let's get the ball rolling. We need to do this. So rather than just have John F. Kennedy and Ursuline involved, we decided let's invite Cardinal Mooney across the river to be part of it as well and then said, let's invite our feeder schools. So we had our first meeting in May and we invited Catholic Charities. They gave us a wish list and we came up with this concept of kids in the community. And basically how it works is all of our schools donated gently used clothes, shoes, sporting equipment, and our elementary schools were asked to bring in either paper products, cleaning supplies, um, anything personal hygiene. So seven months of planning our culminating event is today and how it will work is from 9 to 11 clients of catholic charity will be invited to come in and shop and as you look around the room you could see all of the signs everything is nominally priced from 11 to 1 it's open to the general public um, any monies raised will go right to Catholic Charities, who of course serve six counties for the Diocese of Youngstown and a very underserved population. And we believe that probably for the first time in diocesan history, all of the schools have come together for this joint service project. All right. As you guys can see, there's plenty of things over here. Coming up, we're talking to the assistant principal who's going to tell us what exactly you can find. For now, reporting in Youngstown, Brooke Meanahan, First News, Saturday morning.